So what's up, guys? Uh, Food Wars episode eleven, the one before the last, and um, I'm really sad to see the series go away on a break. But either ways, if you guys enjoy um, this video, definitely subscribe and enjoy watching this series and let me know your perspectives on it down in the comment section for the future and now. By the way, um, so we go into this episode, the stage year now. This is basically when they send high school students to restaurants to, it, it can either be a high-end, middle-class, or a low-end restaurant, but to gain practical experience. And the first, this is the first part of it, and the first part is in pairs. And we only got to look into two, um, two pairs. First, which is Soma and Arato, uh, the secretary for Arana, and then we go into Mizumi and Arana, the second pair. Now the first pair, basically this whole stage year first section is to um for these guys, or I should say the main point of the stage year is to establish a visible mark. And um the first section of this takes place in one week, by the way. And at the end of the episode, we do see that they finish the one week and they're on to the second part, but we haven't got the location yet. So, um the first part is a little small western restaurant which has which have problems with um, keeping up with the customers. And the other um, pair, which is Erina and Mizumi, are at a high-end restaurant, which have problems with the leftovers. Okay, now we go back into Soma. Soma and Arto, um, of course, they didn't um, start off good, but I like how the uh, <laughs> Soma referred to her as the secretary. I love that. <laughs> thought that was funny. And also, um, Mizumi referred to her Refer to Arato is an aide. <laughs> um, love how they put the spotlight between the two, even though they're not in the same, like, kind of in the same scene. So the first restaurant has problem with um, keeping up with the customers because there's a new transit system or a new upgrade, a bullet train that's in the vicinity. So they have problem keeping up with the demands of the customers because they are also trying to um, catch the train on time and eat. So... Soma and Arato had to figure a way around this, which was, also, before I get into that, Arato didn't notice it, but Soma did, and Arato didn't, um, she wasn't familiar with the environment of customers coming in and leaving at the blink of an eye, like a barrage. She basically said that it was like a war zone, and Soma had to snap her into reality. Um, she wasn't familiar with this, but Soma is, as we know, because um, he obviously ran the restaurant with his dad. Don't know if they had that type of traffic, but he's definitely familiar with the environment of taking orders, uh, going back. Like, he's definitely experienced in controlling an environment. So that definitely helped him in this um, first part. But the thing that helped him the most was noticing what the restaurant was missing, which they had a, um, a long list of orders in which Soma um, suggested that the restaurant owner take off all of the unnecessary items and only leave on the, the favorite and also start taking reservations so that um, you can basically control your environment more and you don't have to um, bring in extra chefs to cook all of these items and keeping up with the traffic rather than um, maintaining what you have. Basically, what they were saying is that it, it was going to go under. Uh, since Soma and, and Arato Arato has um, arrived, sales have gone up and complaints have gone down. So that should tell you what the state was like before they got there. So they um, came to a conclusion that that's what they needed to do. And also they got a long time customer that they haven't seen. And he said basically he couldn't arrive. He couldn't come in and enjoy a meal because um, he just felt like it was too crowded all the time. And that was one of his favorite restaurants, by the way. Also, we see how that, um, how Soma and Arato adapted to that environment and made their visible mark because the restaurant is mainly run by older people and they didn't want to change. They were basically saying that they were run by other generations and the recipes were made by other generations and they did not want to make that change. So Soma and Arato arriving, it definitely helped that restaurant in the long run, meaning that they won't go out of business because we all know too much business can be bad business. Um, 
So, we go in after that, um, they definitely passed it. Then we go into um, Erina and Mizumi. Now, Mizumi is obviously being overshadowed by Erina. And she's basically stuck with dishes. <laughs> and while doing dishes, dishes, she noticed that um, a lot of leftovers were being handed back to her before washing the dishes. And she basically made a note to Erina. Now, Erina beforehand was um, giving the head chef problems because the head chef, I'm guessing, he didn't want a female to run the kitchen and how she was making changes. But it was for the better. And he didn't like that. And how he was getting credit for something that he didn't do. Because he didn't want to acknowledge it. <laughs> so that was definitely funny. Um, so Mizumi noticed that a lot of the vegetables and a lot of the gravies were being um, brought back to the kitchen in the place. And she suggested that you um, basically serve the sauce and like a plate to the table so that the customer can take out as much as they want. And none would be wasted, I'm guessing, in that sense. But... He, um, the head chef also didn't want to recognize that. And then um, one of the employees comes in and demands more sauce. <laughs> and demands more sauce. So again, he's, uh, he's proven wrong. And we see how those two work in pairs to overcome a change. Because I'm guessing the head chef didn't want a female in the kitchen. But apparently those two that proves him wrong and that made a change, a visible mark. And the food quality went up exemplary. Because um, one of the customers definitely complimented on him, complimented to him that um, he would receive a star next year. So then that again, a visible mark. <sighs> now, ending of this episode, we see how both of these guys change, how Erina opened up to, um, to Mizumi by inviting her in her ride. And Mizumi bringing up Soma and she's and Erina saying that don't bring him up. <laughs> and how Mizumi is in a, like a um, confused state of why. But she basically states that if it wasn't for Soma, she wouldn't be this far. So now we go into Soma and Arato. Soma basically gives her advice on um, getting back in a good space with Arana because Arato lost to um, Hayama and she didn't want to show her face back to Erina, because she supposedly thinks that she has some standard to uphold, but I'm guessing it all lands on friendship. I'm, the more important the friendship, the more meaning it has, and the more you shouldn't throw it away. So we see how um, how Soma helps her by giving her the collection of the romance manga that, by the way, all the way back to the episode with the Beef Stew Challenge, when he went to Erina for help, he promised her... Um, these romance novels. And now is the perfect time. It's funny how he used that. He basically knocked out two birds with one stone. He basically used that to help Arata to get back to um, to get back in a good spot with Erna. It's funny how he did that and figured that out. And also he um some also learned something that um and he also gave this advice to um Arato that instead of walking behind, try to walk with. So that you can both be on equal grounds and understand each other more. Now, um, of course, these guys both passed the final step and on to the future episode, The Magician, um, which is the last episode for um, Shuko Geki, the second plate. This is definitely the, um, the last episode. So I think that's it for this episode. But this episode was overall, it was overall good. Um, nice and mellow, even. Uh, I'm gonna say eight. They didn't do anything too bad, but it was nice. It was a nice episode. Um, I'm sad I didn't get to see uh Niku Mito, by far the favorite character. Look at the tone of that skin, jeez. Um, but uh, definitely my most favorite character on that show, by the way. Uh, what else? Um, I think that's it. So. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I, and if you guys like it, leave a like, and if you didn't like, leave a dislike, and let me know why down in the comment section, and definitely subscribe, guys. Um, I know I started reviewing this series a little late, but it was much enjoyable. I really liked it, and you guys seem to like my reviews of them, and if you do, again, leave a like, and let me know what you think. It's all about perspective, guys. Let me know what you think, and I'll definitely reply. 
So definitely subscribe as well. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. Can't stress that enough. And please join me for the final episode next week. Thanks.